Hello, and welcome back to Harriet's Custom Computer Art Plus. If this is your first time stopping by, thank you. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. And if you'd like to be notified the minute I have of new tutorials, just hit the bell and you'll be notified. Also, please don't forget to share. Thank you to everyone that has subscribed to my channel so far. And I will get started with what we're going to be working on today. What I'm trying to do is catch up on some um, subscribers requests that have been um, mounting up a bit because I've, I've been away, I was sick, I injured my knee, it's Christmas, and so I'm on home rest for uh, a few days and I'm going to try to get as many subscriber requests completed as I possibly can and then um, once I'm done with that, then I will start uploading some more of my own um, materials that I'd like to show you. Today, um, I'm going to work on the tennis shoe. Uh, uh, people have requested to learn how to do these to make the tennis shoe um, designs for uh, centerpieces and decorations for parties. So you can just go to your Google search engine and type in uh, whatever type shoe you're looking for, Nike, K-Swiss, whatever it may be, and type, I usually type high-res free coloring pages, and high-res is so you get the best picture that you can possibly get, free so that it hopefully is not <laughs> copyrighted, and then uh, whatever you're looking for. And in this case, it was a Nike shoe. Now, this is a different one from when everyone is using, but I thought I would show you um, one that's a little more unique. And uh, these are usually on for free on uh, Google search, the coloring pages. So I'm going to show you if you don't have the image as an SVG, which this is a, a PNG um, from the Internet, so if you took this into Cricut Design Space, you would have to uh, do quite a bit of work to try to get it to uh, separate. You would have to, um, if you're going to do it on Cricut, you would have to uh, isolate each piece by deleting it or erasing everything else and just keeping that piece, which is why I'm showing you in picture because it's so easy, so much easier to do. Um, so how we're going to get started is I have the image open here. The first thing I want to do is take out this background. I might already have it cut out, but I'm going to check to see. But what you would do, you would go to cut out in pictures, cut out of picture by color selection. And then wherever you click, if it turns into this dropper, that means that um, you can uh, draw that section out. But as you can see, I already took out the background. So when you, if your background is gone, it will just show the cursor arrow in all those spots. And only when you roll over something that, uh, an area that can be sucked out of the picture or separated out, it will turn into the dropper. So now that I know my background is already gone, now I can start zeroing in on the pieces. So what I'm going to do is, you, or what you will need to do, I've already done it, what you'll need to do and you'll only have to do this the first time you use that coloring page. So I'm just going to click in each area. I'll click that to get the swoosh. Then I'm going to hit next. Take the check mark out so it will stay on this page because you want to keep everything in proportion. So I remove the check mark. I'm going to hit done. And you'll see here on the layers panel on the right hand side. Now the swoosh has been separated from the rest of the shoe. So each time you choose an area to cut out, it's going to make a new layer on this side. Now I suggest that as you, after you cut maybe like five, just go up here to File, Save As, and, and save this in picture format, which is what it will be already defaulted into, and then put it in whatever folder you want to put it in. You can change it to desktop or you can make a Nike folder for this and then you could put it into the Nike folder. But I'm just going to put it on my desktop for now and I'm going to give it the name Nike Air and hit save. Once it's saved, it'll bring you back to this page. And now when we save pieces, the extra pieces that we're going to draw out, all we have to do is hit this little 
diskette. The software shows its date. It's dating itself. If you click on this little diskette, which is the third icon on the top row, and if you hover over it, it'll say, if you hover over it, it well, it was saying it, but now it, for some reason it's not. This has been a quirky day for me. Um, yeah, now I'm hovering over it and it says save. So once you click that, it will save your progress. So now let's cut out some more pieces. I'm going to go to cut out a picture, cut out of picture by color selection, which is the third choice. And then I'm going to choose, I don't want that much. I want to keep the gray lines. So I just backed out of that. I'm going to go to cut out a picture, cut out of picture by color selection. This time I'm going to take it down to zero because I don't want it to pull out everything. I want it to stop at these little gray lines. So this time I'm going to click and now it's just going to give me this section. So I'm going to hit next and done. And as you see, the new piece will pop up. Now we have three layers and I'm going to do a few more because uh, just so you really get the hang of it. But you're going to do that for each piece that you want to separate out. So I'm going to go back to cut out in picture, cut out of picture by color selection. This time, oh, don't forget to drop it down to zero. And then I'm drawing out that section, hit next and done. I'll do it again, cut on a picture, cut out of picture by color selection. This time I'll pull out the air. Now for the air, I'm going to pull out all of it, even though it's separated. I'm going to click so that I can get each piece that's part of that air because when I change the color or the pattern or the print inside of there, I want all of these to be the same color. So now I have air plus the line. I'm going to hit next and done and it will add the layer. So now you're, you're seeing how this is all separated out. And each time you get to like four or five or six, just go ahead and hit save. That way, if the, if the application should time out or the screen closes out, you can open it back up and all of these layers that you've already cut out will be saved for you so you won't have to start all over. So just remember to save frequently when using the software because it is older software and it can uh, tend to get overworked and will cut itself off from time to time. But for the most part, uh, it does an excellent job and just make sure that you remember to save um, every now and then. So I'm going to go ahead and close this one out because I have one already that I've separated out. I'm going to bring that one up. And now you see all the pieces I sucked out from top to bottom. Every piece is separate now so I can go in and design them whatever way I want. And remember, you only have to do this one time and then you just give it a name. I just saved this one under picture one, but you just give it a name. And then every time you have a new party that you need to make a decoration for, you just pull up this same pattern and decorate it in a totally different uh, design. Now I'm going to show you the unique way that I decided to decorate it because I'm working on a Spider-Man theme. And so I thought instead of just making it the plane with the glitter, um, which I'll show you the glitter method first, um, but I decided to design it as a Spider-Man theme. So, but first to show you, you can do it with um, just images of glitter, which I'm going to show you now. I just have different uh, images of glitter that I downloaded the image from Google and I change them to any color that I want them to be and then just use them for making cake toppers because I don't like buying a lot of different paper, glitter paper, cardstock. All I buy is cardstock, Kodak photo paper, and sometime Epson uh, presentation, double-sided photo glossy uh, presentation paper. And uh, what else? Yeah, just at cardstock. Uh, I get white cardstock most of the time. Every now and then I'll buy colored cardstock. Uh, but that's very seldom. I usually print all of my cardstock, however I want, whatever color I want and whatever pattern. So I got photo paper, cardstock, multi-purpose multi paper, and then I just print up any type of paper I want. So um, I go to the internet. You can download leather print. If you want leather, you can download a leather image and superimpose that into your shoe design if you'd like to do that. So I'm going to show you really quickly 
for uh, just a couple of steps on how you would do this in glitter. Let's say I wanted it to be in pink and gold glitter. So all I would do is click on the image that I want to change. This would be the swish for now. Actually, I'll leave the swish white and I'll go to this section. And I would just go here to cut out. Once you click on it and you see your little quadrant markers around there, you're going to go to cut out and picture, fill cut out or picture with the picture and make sure to already have the images open because now all you're going to do is drag these right up into that image and just let it go. And you have your first uh, piece of glitter. Then you just hit done. Rename this at this point to, you know, pink and gold party or, or whatever the person's name is so that you won't uh, have to bring your master back to white so that you're never using or recording over your, your master. So now I'm just going to click on another area and I'm just going to make this shoe pink and gold. So I'm going to go back. I click on this section. I'm going to go back to cut out a picture, fill cut out a picture with a picture. This time I'm going to drag up the gold and I'll drop the gold in. Now I'm just showing you this. So it might look odd with these two colors, but you just give me an idea. Now I'm going to choose this piece right here and I'll move it up a little bit so you can see which one I'm talking about. I'm going to hit the back arrow just to put it back where it is, where it was rather. And I'm going to make sure that I have it on the very top because it looks like, looks like I have it far down on the bottom. So I'm just going to find it and drag it up from wherever I have it. Let's see. It should have a, a blue. There it is. Okay. So I see it here. Whenever you click on it, it will put a blue outline around it. I'm just going to make sure that it's all the way on the top because looks like it was underneath and I want it up so you'll see the color change all right now I should have left it down a little bit and see yeah that might work better okay so now I have it on the third layer and I'm gonna go once again to cut out in picture fill cut out a picture with the picture and I'm gonna drag up the gold again and so you'll see now that it's filled in all this area with gold hit done let's do the air symbol so I'm gonna click on the air symbol I'm going to go to cut out in picture, fill cut out a picture with a picture, and I guess I'll make that, I'll make that, uh, yeah, I'll make that gold, and then I'll make the, I'll make that gold, and then for this section, oops, always hit done, then for this section, I'll make this uh, pink, so I'm going to go once again, cut out a picture, fill cut out a picture with a picture, and I'm just going to drag up the pink. And so you can do this for each of the sections because I have every section pulled out. You'll do that same function and you see how easy it is to do it this way. And you don't have to buy your glitter paper. You can do it like this and then print it out and, and um, use it as your decoration. Now I'm going to show you the way that I decided to do it in the Spider-Man theme. I'm just going to back up out of all of these. And now I'm going to show you how I did it. And I already have my pictures open that I want to use, my Spider-Man pictures, and then I'll show you the finished look. So I chose this part first, and I wanted to put the web picture there. So I'm going to go to cut out a picture, fill cut out a picture um, with a picture, and then click on the picture. And I'm going to bring up this webbing that I have two pictures on one sheet. So I'm going to move it down so that I'm only using that one sheet. I did it like this so that I wouldn't um, overburden the software. So I'm going to put that image right there. I'm going to hit done. Next I'm going to go here and I'm going to put the little image of Spider-Man. So I'm going to go back to a cutout and picture. So cut out our picture with the picture and then I'm going to bring up the Spider-Man image. I think this is the one. Is that the one? No, that wasn't the one I used. I'm going to go back. I'm going to cancel that one. Because I want to use this other image. So while I still have it chosen, I'm going to go to cut out and picture. Still cut out our picture with the picture. And I'm going to use this gold looking um, Spider-Man picture. So I'm going to put it, put it there. And I'm going to resize it so that it makes sense showing Spider-Man. But it fills in that whole area. Next, I'm going to go ahead and hit done here. And I'm going to go to this portion. And what did I, I think I put, let's see. 
Oh, I just made that a solid blue. So I'm going to click there and I'm going to go to paint and color effects, which is this one. And as you see, when I hit it, it changes that to uh, defaults to red, but I'm going to change it to the blue in Spider-Man's pants. So I'm just going to click there to make it blue. And then uh, for this section, I don't remember, I think I left that white for the heel. I, I just made that a solid blue. So I'm going to click there and I'm going to go to paint and color effects, which is this one. And as you see, when I hit it, it changes that to uh, defaults to red, but I'm going to change it to the blue in Spider-Man's pants. So I'm just going to click there to make it blue. And then uh, for this section, I don't remember, I think I left that white for the heel. I turned that blue. So I'm gonna, I want to make this blue as well. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go to paint and color effects once again, click on fill with a solid color, and I'm just going to click on that blue again. Hit done. Now for the air symbol, I want that to look gold. So I'm going to click out of the heel and I'm going to click just on the air. And then I'm, I guess I will use, I think I'm just going to use some gold out of the uh, webbing. So I'm going to go once again to paint and color effect, fill with a solid color. And then I'm just going to come in here and get some of this gold. And then I can adjust it to however I want afterwards. I kind of like that shade, but I'm gonna, going to uh, enrich the saturation a bit by clicking on the up and down arrows in the this section of our little uh, panel. I'm going, this is the saturation increase or, or decrease. I'm going to click on increase just to make that gold stand out more and hit done. I kind of like having the white edge in there or you could change it to black or whatever color you want. Um, this, I think I'll match it to this gold. So I'm gonna click on the swoosh and I'm gonna go up here to uh, paint and color effect, fill with a solid color. And then I'm just gonna click the gold that I used there. I might darken it a bit so that it looks a little richer. And yes, and less uh, stands out a little less. And as you can see, I kept both of these swooshes together so they would change colors together. So it's just that easy to fill it in. I'll show you the finished shoe that I made. Um, that's the finished one. I used a, a gold metallic, but since I didn't have it open, I just went ahead with it. But you can see how good that looks. You can use any characters you want. You can use any prints that you want. You can, if you wanted to have your own picture on there, you, you know, you can just superimpose your own picture in this area or, or whichever area you want. And you would have a perfectly great design uh, or decoration for your party. Then you just uh, cut this out and put it on a, a little base. Basically, you can uh, make your bases using, uh, what is that, foam core board, or you can buy the wooden bases from your arts and crafts store, paint them with any of these colors. Most likely blue would look really good. And then um, just post your uh, design on in your card stock design on your block, and you'll be set to go. But this is how easy it is to uh, decorate those Nike shoes. Um, you can choose this one that I chose, or there are numerous ones. I'll pull it up right quick so you can see all the coloring pages that are available that you could do this um, with. I should have opened Edge because it's already up. So I'm going to go to um, Nike shoe coloring pages just to let you see all the pages that are available. And then once you're there, you just choose images and you see all the different shoe patterns that are available to um, make your own design with. I hope you enjoyed this uh, brief tutorial on how to decorate the shoe to make uh, centerpieces for um, Nike style parties. And I'll see you next time.